And people, I don't think, want to be in a world where a meeting like that could be treason. People have said this is prima facie evidence of treason. Would you want to be in a country where treason was broadly defined in that way? The framers defined treason very narrowly because they lived in a country where people were accused of being traitors because they were unpopular or they were political opponents. There are serious things to investigate here, but you don't help that by concluding that there's a strong evidence of a crime without a defined crime. So in terms of the investigation, we know that, that Robert Mueller now wants to speak to all the people that were in the room with Donald Trump Jr. His investigation is proceeding, and when you boil it down to the three potential crimes, you've got obstruction of justice in the Comey meeting, you've got collusion, potentially, in this Donald Trump Jr. meeting. They've been looking for it in a number of places, but this is where they think uh, that they may have found it. And you have treason, at which you just mentioned, which has also been brought up by even Tim Kaine, senator from, from Virginia. Um, can this process proceed in a legal way and find a true answer that you think will be satisfying in this environment? I think it can, but people need to be a little more responsible. First of all, they can look for collusion and they'll probably find it. That by saying, I love it, when people say a bunch of Russian government lawyers want to give you information, that sounds a lot like a willingness to collude. But that doesn't happen to be a crime under the criminal code. Now, if people refer to collusion as cons a conspiracy, that's a crime, but it's conspiracy to do what? And people are saying that, well, they were trying to conspire to defraud the government and that type of thing. We've never seen cases where it was extended that broadly. And I have, I have an article out in the Hill today where I say, look, each of these claims that people are making on the evidence as they exist now would grotesquely extend the criminal code. And that's a dangerous thing. You know, people are so eager to bag a Trump that they're willing to take these crimes and, and take them well beyond their illegal moorings. Fascinating. Jonathan Turley, always good to have Thanks, your Mark. sobering and realistic view uh, as we plod through this story. Thank you, sir. Thank you.